As you're developing your brand online, one of the most basic expectations is to maintain a standardized color scheme, a branding, a color palette. Unfortunately, Gutenberg doesn't do a whole lot to help you make that easy. And in this video, I'll show you a simple trick and tool to make that possible. Let's go ahead and dive in. Hey guys, John here from IncomeMesh.com. My goal online is to help you find the perfect tools for your next project. And in today's quick video, I want to show you how you can easily customize the color palette that you're using in Gutenberg. So here we have a sample website where we want to add some buttons, maybe some images. And what you'll notice here is when you go to add a button, for example, on your color settings here in the right hand column, uh, you'll have the ability to change the background color. And you can see this is currently running the default 2019 theme. Uh, but in almost any theme, you're going to have the same experience where you can pick an individual color, but you're going to be in this problem area of having to pick it every single time individually. And that's just not efficient and not good for your own purposes. It's going to lead to you making some mistakes along the way. Luckily, there's a very simple free plugin that's going to solve this for us once and for all. So we'll go to plugins and add new. And we'll just leave these changes. And in the search bar, you can just search for custom color palette Gutenberg. <clears throat> and there's several of these out there. I've tried the central color palette. I feel like it has too many options for what I particularly need, but that's also one that works. I personally like this guy. Uh, it doesn't have the most installs and it's uh, hasn't been updated in a while, but that's because you don't need to. It's a very simple plugin. It does what it needs to do. Let's go ahead and install and activate this guy and I'll show you how it works. So if we go to our settings here, you'll see it takes you directly into your customizer and now you have this new area called custom color palette so what's great about this is that if you are on the default theme and you're looking at your colors you see you have the option to pick one color and it really doesn't do anything for you so it's really not the most useful feature but under custom color palette now if we dive in you have three options here your main colors which is kind of like your branding color your grayscale colors which will be for like your background sections or other things that you might want to have uh, just that, that little tint to and then some primary colors as well let's go ahead and take a look at each one of these individually and show you what we have here so under main colors we have the ability to enable a primary color an accent color and a secondary color now you obviously don't want to have too many colors in your branding otherwise you'll look a little bit hodgepodge uh, i personally really primarily use an orange color and i use a few blue accents uh, but what we can do here is uh, let's say we want to enable all the colors just to go nuts and then within this you can set it once let's say we're going to set our we're going to have a blue co a color palette so we'll go blue here let's take this and go to our primary color and pick it but then choose maybe a lighter shade and then primary light pick it and you can do a lighter shade okay this is a very crazy palette and let's leave these secondaries as they are and let's cha change our accent to an orange that looks nice okay so there's our primary and secondary colors we can come back in and take a look at the grayscale colors options and you can see white, light gray, black, and dark gray. These are our options here. They're good enough for me if you want to specify your shade of gray. I know there's many of them. And then under primary colors, you can come here as well and even enable additional primary colors. These are useful for little blocks or feature grids where they don't need to be branded to you, but that you just want to be able to have a nice selection of colors. So, okay, we feel good. Let's go ahead and publish this and head back to our main area. And let's make that page again. <clears throat> so we head back into this draft page. Now, if we go to add a button, boom. <clears throat> so now our color settings have exploded to additional options here. So let's just break this down to what we did here. So we have our primary dark, our primary color, our primary light, and then our secondaries, our accent color. And if you hover over, you'll actually see the designation of that particular color that you set. And so this is our that first panel, the main color panel. Then you go into the grayscale panel, which has our white to light gray to dark gray to black. And then we have our primary colors here. So you now can easily ensure that your content is branded, branded button. You can even, let's say if on the hover side, which this option here doesn't actually have a hover option, um, uh, more buttons have the ability, but you could change the color around. You can do, I'm on the base here, so I don't have a ton of options of what I can play with color wise, but you get the idea. Um, you have the ability now to have all kinds of different um, colors that are branded to your own particular style, your own particular brand, and 
it takes under a minute to set up and organize. The benefit of this is obviously many fold. The biggest one, however, is definitely the fact that you set it up once and now whenever you're going through your process, you never have any fear or conflict when it comes to branding your colors. You know what your colors are and you can make sure that across any element that you're setting up in your uh, Gutenberg built pages, they're all branded to you. I'm John from IncomeMesh.com. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and click the subscribe and like button and leave a comment and let me know what other tools you used to supercharge your own Gutenberg setup. I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.